In the orchestration of effective leadership, the comparison to a shepherd holds deep significance. A true leader, much like a shepherd, positions themselves behind the flock, allowing the most agile to forge ahead, subtly guiding the rest from the rear. It is a great honor that we extend a warm welcome to our principal, Reverend Father Biju Skaria CM, to address this esteemed gathering. Respected fathers, esteemed staff, beloved parents, uh, my dear children, and above all, esteemed graduates of the day, a very warm good afternoon to one and all. Let me congratulate the graduates after 12 years or 13 years of study. They enter into a new phase of life. Of course, you are going to leave DePaul. Leave 5.30 bell, the lunch parotta. You are going to leave all the whistles and shoutings of the wardens, teachers, words that provocate you, study, study, study. Now, everything is going to be your own. You are supposed to be responsible. There won't be any more bells at 5.30. There won't be anyone coming and calling you. It's all going to be on your own. At this juncture, my dear beloved children, I have a few things to tell you. Number one, just like ma'am said, focus and hard work, these are the only things that will make you to reach your goal or dream. Overnight, you will not get six-pack body, right? Or a big muscles. It needs hard work. Do it again and again. And finally you reach. One of the best examples that is before you is maybe of Ronaldo, the greatest football player. If you have gone through his history, he had such a pathetic background. He didn't have a good family which is financially well off. There was nothing to credit. His father died earlier. He had a heart sickness. But then, hard work and focus that has helped him to reach where you are. What you are today doesn't matter. What are your talents doesn't matter. What are your achievements today doesn't matter. Focus and hard work and you reach your goal. Secondly, my dear children, you don't forget two people in your life. One, God, who is helping you always, and second, your parents and teachers, their involvement in your life. You know, as you move along in your life, there's always chances and situations that you may think, I can do myself, why should have my parents, what's the role of my teachers, it's all me. Absolutely no. Till the last moment of your life, keep in mind your parents and your teachers are the ones who have helped you to grow in life. Respect them, honor them always. They should be the prime, prime focus your parents should be the prime thing in your life. There are so many friends, so many relations, so many uh, you know, people who will be coming into your life. But parents should be first. They are the ones who will support you. In your ups and downs, they will be there with you. In your uh, lowest situations, they will not abandon you. You too should never abandon. Keep them in your mind and be recognize their role and their presence all through your life. <laughs> Thirdly, life is not going to be easy. The best example is your parents. You ask them, how easy was it? There is going to be very tough situations. 
where you think that you are lost, where you th at a time where you think that you have nothing to move on, life is going to be tough. But then all the difficult experiences of life, all the failures, as ma'am said, all the challenges of your life should make you better. Never run back. Whatever be the challenges, whatever be the situations, even the lowest progress report, don't run back. I am going to do it. Focus and work hard and you will. And fourthly, remember your beauty, your six-pack body, everything will go. You will have the same shape of your teachers and parents after a few years. Now you are all smart, young. Isn't it? You will be big stomach, big fat. But what counts is your heart. What counts is your behavior. What counts is w the person inside you. Body, shape, color, everything is secondary. All your makeups, you know, everything is secondary. All your bodybuilding is secondary. What counts is your heart. Be a good person in life. That alone will help you to reach wherever you want to be. Okay, you know, on a, on a stage or when you go to a crowd, your makeup matters, your dressing matters because you stand there well dressed, people get impressed. But then the real people need to impress is the people with whom you are in contact with, with whom you are live, living with. And that can happen only when you have a good heart. Cherish a good heart and that will help you to be a wonderful personality in life. People should remember you after you leave the situations. There is a short story, a short story that is said about a honeybee. You know, once a honeybee which was born in a comb, I had told this one in the last one also, I think. As the honeybee bees comes out, the small one comes out from the honeycomb, the mother bee gives a drop of honey to the, to the child. The child drinks and asks mother, mother, it's so tasty, it's so lovely. What's the name you call it? How do you call it? What's the name of it? The mother bee gives a very philosophical answer. It says, my dear child, it is a sweet memory of a beautiful flower, dead and gone long back. Sweet memory of a beautiful flower, dead and gone long back. Leave, leave sweet memories wherever you go, in the hearts of others and save some within your heart. Be a personality that touches others' heart and leave such a good impression in the mind of others with your good behavior. My dear children, at this juncture, let me tell you one more last point. You always have a chance to correct yourself. Always. Whatever be the mistakes you make, whatever be the situation, you always have a chance to correct yourself. When you fi fi finally realize you are at wrong, wrong place, wrong situations, long act, stop correct, move the, leave the place. Always when you realize that you are wrong, that you are at the wrong place, correct yourself because that is a very important thing in your life to grow. I once again wish all the best to all the graduates. Deepal will definitely miss you. This was one of the best batch I have ever seen. So talented so vibrant and so fantastic. Your group has an excellent, excellent nature in every way. I congratulate and th thus DePaul, every teacher in this campus, every, your juniors, the campus itself, your dormitory, your bed, everything will miss you and you are noisy crowd. Wishing you all the very best in your life. At last, but not least, as I always say, I would like to meet you once more.
I would like to meet you on January 31st, 2049. January 31st, 2049, 25 years from today. Come together as a team and we will have a gathering. All the best. God bless you all.